Hey, thanks for checking out my video. Check this out. Looky here, looky here. Hold on, hold on. Looky there. Can you see that? Over 300,000 miles on this dirty, dirty Silverado. 3, 2003 Silverado. So anyway, um, I'm going to make two videos here. I'm going to I'm going to replace the heads on this pickup. But while I'm while I'm at it, I'm going to replace the oil pump too because when I'm at idle, when I'm sitting in there at idle it, in traffic, it's like it goes down to almost 20 psi. So it's it's probably getting war 300,000 miles. I'm going to while I'm in this far in this pickup, I'm going to replace the oil pump. I'm going to show you how to do that. I did a I did an oil pump replacement on that pickup there. See that pickup back there? And that was one of my first videos I did, so I, I thought, you know, I could probably do a little better job. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, um, I've got, look at here, I've got, I've got the oil pump right here. Look, that's the oil pump. It is a high flow oil pump. It's not a melling oil pump, dang it, but well, whatever. 300,000 miles, it'll probably be fine for a long time. I got the gasket kit, you know, for the front uh, timing chain cover. And I also went ahead and bought, since I've done two of these, I, you never know when you're going to do the next one, right? I bought an actual damper puller to get that, you know, that front flywheel damper off. And this one is for the GM uh, damper. Because it's got the longer rods, you can rent a Chrysler uh, puller, you know, at some of the parts stores, but it doesn't have one of these longer rods with, that you need. So anyway, I went and bought it. You know, I'll put a link out there. And um, so anyway, I'll uh, I'll get get to tearing apart this pickup, and um, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all this stuff off the front here, all the intake and everything. I'm gonna take. I gotta take the the water pump, I gotta take the belts off first, of course. I gotta drain the antifreeze, and that might be a little mess, but uh, anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back at it and get everything tore apart. All right, so I'm gonna tackle the oil pump now, and um, I'll show you kind of where I'm at. I've been, uh, you know, I've been doing some major stuff to this engine. I replaced the heads, but I, I'm gonna, I, I wanted to do the oil pump also. So I'm, I'm gonna do that now. I, the harmonic balancer is still on there, so I wanted to show you how, from at this point, to get this done. So up until now, to get to this point, it's basically fairly simple. Um, you can see the fan, fan shroud. I took the fan shroud off. This has got the belt driven uh, fan. Um, the fan shroud just takes two bolts on the top there. These bolts here. And they're up, uh, up here. So you just take those out. <clears throat> then there's some plastic clips. Mm, see these plastic clips? There's four of these plastic clips that come out of uh of those areas those holes there on the side and that top fan shroud just kind of comes off there's a the top hose is on top of that fan shroud it kind of hooks in into into here see see kind of where that hose sits kind of just get rid of that hose and take the fan shroud off um you take the the belt off <clears throat> which uh you know here's your uh uh, what do you call it? Your tensioner. You, you get a wrench. I think it's a 15. You spin it. It uh, it loosens your, your serpentine belt, and you take your belt off. You take that clear all the way off. And then um, you take the water pump off. Of course, you know the hoses. My got my hoses off here. I got actually got the bottom hose off too. It's I think it's easier, you know, you could take that bottom hose off and everything. Of course, that bottom hose goes here, so I guess you have to. But anyway, you got to drain the antifreeze, 
and it's best to just take these three hoses off and it's a pain in the ass because it'll it'll splatter everywhere I've got um, I drain I, I drained it out already you can see some antifreeze in there that's where I drained the antifreeze out and you can see it's still it, it made a big mess so anyway drain the antifreeze out and um, <clears throat> at that point it's I'm basically where I'm at. I did take that front uh, plastic panel off. You know, it goes to the front underneath there. See that? So I can access that underneath there. So I might jack my pickup up and so I can get up underneath there better. Um, but at this point, I'm going to uh, I'm going to take the harmonic balancer off. I got I actually bought the tool to do that. And it is this uh, OTC 667 damper puller. Right there. Right there it is. That will pull off the harmonic balancer. Before I start pulling though, I have got to take off that, uh, there's a bolt that goes in there. So I'll show you when I get to that point. Um, so this, this uh, assembly here, I took that off actually because I had to because you know it bolts into that head up there but it's probably good to take this off too because you've got to um, access there's a like a little uh, I don't know, plug over here it's an Allen uh, Allen bolt plug over here that you have to access to, to prime the, the oil pump so I'll show you how to do that when we get to that this uh this assembly here i'm gonna have to put that up it's got uh you got four i think you got four four bolts here one down there bull down below so there's four bolts in the front and then there's one on the side you can kind of see it down in there there's a bolt there you have to take that off five bolts all together to get this loose here so anyway um let me get my uh my socket to get that bolt off and we're gonna take this harmonic balancer off all right so see this setup here I've got a I've got my handle off my jack as a cheater bar here on my on my breakaway bar I guess as you call it and that's how I have to get that loose I mean it is on there tight i don't know what torque it is but an impact wrench will probably not get that off so you've got to have some leverage i've got this uh this bar holding the damper as i spin it and it's it's fine it's coming off so good deal that is a 24 millimeter impact socket i got down there and my craftsman uh breakaway bar and it's it's this Craftsman bar is probably 20 years old, and it's just done a lot of torquey stuff. So, anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to get this bolt out. All right, so there it is. So now I got the bolt out. I'm going to take my, uh, my damper puller. I've got the long, well, no, I got the medium rod in there now. The long rod is still in there. I'm thinking this. I'm thinking this will work. So I'm gonna put it up here on the. Put it. Let's see if I can get this on camera here. I don't know if I can. If you can see that, but I'm gonna put that in there. And then put my uh, gear puller up on the deals here. Uh, it might be. It might be that long rod. So anyway, you can see where where I'm going to clamp that to on the back side of this harmonic dampener. Um, yeah, I'm thinking it might be that long rod. So anyway, I might switch it out and see, and then uh, and try and get this off. So um, I wish I could do this with two hands or put my I could put my tripod up here. But anyway, I'm going to try and get this off. All right, so I got my camera set up here. <laughs> Finally, I should have done this more often, right? So I think it's the the one with the, the long rod. I'm gonna try and oh, it's turning. 
I'm gonna try and get this off here. Hopefully, be able to pull this off. Usually, it will just slide out, which it is. Look at there. You're starting to slide out. Ah. Just like so. Yeah. I suppose I could use my ratchet, my air, you know, my air wrench, but what the heck? Doesn't make for good videos. Yeah. You can see, it's pulled right off. Easy as that. Oh, there goes my wrench and my knuckles. So anyway, I'm gonna try and pull this all the way off. Um, these, and then I'm gonna get these uh, bolts off here. I'm gonna take off this cover, and um, as soon as I get the fly, uh, fly or whatever you call it, dampener off, damper off, and then. Uh, I'll take that off and then I'll show you where the pump is at. It's right on that crank. So, all right. I'm going to get out of here. All right, so I got the bolts out. This bolt down here in that corner clear down there. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, eh, shit. Anyway, it's clear down here in this corner. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a pain to get out. But uh, I got it out. You take takes a quarter inch drive 10 millimeter socket and it'll come off so let's see if we can get this off here hold on I tried to clean it off a little bit just to uh, oh, there it comes just to kind of keep it clean a little bit but probably get a little bit of dirt in there I think I got all the bolts out Oh wait, you know what? There's ones, there's some on the bottom. Shit, I forgot about that. So I'll have to take those out too. I think there's two down here on the bottom. So anyway, I gotta go do that. Alright, I got those two bolts off at the bottom. There's two bolts that come up, up from the bottom. So I had to get under there and get those two off. Um, this one's kind of hard to get off over here. It uh, hits this plastic piece, so these uh, wires go under there, is there a plastic holder piece there. But anyway, you get those two off, and this just kind of comes off like that. And looky there, all my crap and crud from, this isn't normal, this is my crap and crud from the antifreeze that got into the engine here, so I am definitely going to have to clean that up. But anyway, there's the oil pump right there so and i'm going to show you down there we've got to take off a bolt on the pickup tube and that's a pain in the butt too and uh, i'll probably do that next all right guys so i'm up underneath there in the front oh, i'm trying to squeeze in here so can you see that do i have the light shining on there i'm sure as hell hoping i get there's a bolt, the little bolt under there. And it's it's to the downside there on that pickup tube. The pickup tube's right there. I took these I took the bolts out of here. And I'm gonna try and pry up a little bit. See if I can't get in there and get that bolt off. When I get it off so far, I'm going to um uh, I'm gonna tie some fishing line around it. And so I don't lose it down in the pan. So that is my project now. Wish me luck. I forgot to tell you it's a 10. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. I'm going to try and spin it out. There I got it loose. So far. It is a pain in the ass. So I might have to. I might have to take out the video, take off the video. So you can kind of, you kind of spin this up a little bit. Get a little better, you know, grab at it. So, I'm going to try and do that. Then get that bolt out. Success. See that? 
make sure you have the fishing line tied tightly around the bolt. Otherwise, it's going to go in the pan. You might be able to fish it out maybe with a magnet or something. But um, this, I would say, by far is the biggest pain in the ass about doing this job. It is, it took me probably half an hour to do this shit. Just to twist it a little bit, twist a little bit more. Um, I used some some needle nose pliers to kind of twist on it a little bit. My 10 millimeter wrench. And um, it's it's a pain in the ass, so I don't know. You might get frustrated doing this. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's shit. <laughs> okay, so to get this oil pump off, it's basically just the twist and pry method here. Uh, lost my... So you just kind of twist and pry it out. And it basically, eventually, will come off. Hopefully, twist it up. Uh, it'll come off that, uh, that pickup tube. There you go. There's the gasket. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to cut off that that little tab there, so you can spin this uh, spin this little little bracket around, and so you can put the bolt in that hole up there on the new pump. What a concept, General Motors, huh? Oh my gosh. That would be too hard to do, put the bolt up here. So anyway, um, you gotta take, oh shit. Now I gotta get the gasket, which I can see it's right there. So there's the gasket, I almost lost it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get the new pump and uh, we'll get it ready. All right, so I thought I would just, uh, Take these apart and check them out. Check out the internals. Here's the stock pump came off there. Um, still looks okay. I mean, doesn't look like it's you know in bad shape or anything. And then here's the new one. Uh, supposedly high high volume, high flow, whatever. And the way the pump works is that the crankshaft spins the uh, the pump this direction it grabs the oil coming in from the pickup tube here in there see it spins it um, takes the oil in this in this area here spins it over here and then as it gets over here it um, you know squeezes it out and pushes it in into the uh, into this section into the engine right yeah, right there sorry <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's basically how an oil pump works on an LS engine. Spins, runs the oil through from there to there. And this is, it looks like, you know, you can kind of see the difference here between the two. Um, you know, it does look like there might be a hair more uh, area in here. It looks like it's, as far as uh, the, the way it's designed. Um, I took these out also here. Let's see. Let's check these out. I took these out. And it also looks like the high volume one is thicker. Can you see that? Looks like it's thicker there. So that's probably where they're getting more volume. And um, so, anyway, just thought it was interesting. Thought I'd show you guys what those look like. Um, so this, so this all comes out, and I've seen where you're supposed to put these on and then space the, you know, space, put some, uh, you know what I call them, little spacers and, and then uh, put, put this, put this on the shaft and then space these out, but this, uh, this is pretty, pretty tight here as far as the way it goes in there so I don't know I mean there's not a whole lot of wiggle room in there so I don't know if I really need to do that um, 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I get it on there. And I might, I might take out these internals when I put the actual pump on so that I can kind of, you know, uh, angle it to get it onto that uh, pickup tube. And so here, there's, there's the new uh, O-ring. Where's my other one? The old one. I thought I had it here. Anyway, the old, the old O-ring that came out of here was green. I know I had it. Oh shit. Whatever. Anyway, it was green. So, so this kit, <clears throat> this kit over here, comes with, uh, you know, different color O-rings, and it came with this green one. So that's why I'm gonna put it back into the. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the pickup tube. And it'll fit up into there and uh, you know seal that up so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna put the oil pump on now all right guys so as you recall when I'm taking out that bolt it was on the downside right it was underneath there it was a pain in the ass probably took me I don't know almost an hour to get the damn thing out of there so what I'm gonna do is this thing won't spin because there's a tab right there. I don't know if you can see that tab. That prevents this, uh, this little, uh, whatever, you, keeps the, you know, pickup tube up onto the, bolts onto the oil pump. It keeps it pointed down that direction. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my little grinder here and I'm gonna grind that tab off, my little Dremel. And that way I can spin this around that tab and I can put it in this top bolt hole, right? Hell of a lot easier, right? So anyway, I'm gonna see if I can show you how I'm gonna do that here. And I, I am wearing eye protection, so yes. Let's see if I can get this done here, let's see. Yeah. I think it might go from the top here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, maybe I can see it better here. All right, I think I got it. All right, well, I'm gonna shut the camera off now and get that tab out of there. Make sure I don't get any metal filing down below here. All right, success. I uh, I got a magnet and um, spun this around a little bit, pulled that tab out. So now, looky there, I can put this on the other side and put the bolt in up on the top side and actually tighten it up and have room to do that. So anyway, that uh, I'm ready to put the pump on. Also. I wanted to show you this bottom gasket here. I got to position the camera. 
There's a bottom gasket here that sits on this uh, sill. My gasket kit did not come with that, this gasket thing here. So anyway, I might clean it off and just put a dab, a little bit of silicone, just a tiny bit on top there just to kind of seal that up a little bit. So anyway, I thought I'd, I thought I'd tell you that too. So anyway, I'm going to put the green uh, O-ring on here and then I'm going to put the pump on. So I'll do that next year. All right, guys, so I'm going to try and get the oil pump on here. Put on the pickup tube. As I recall, it's kind of a pry, pry, spin and pry deal here. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. All right, so we are on there. Next, we just have to get that pickup tube into the deal. Make sure it sits up inside there. I'll we'll probably have to pry on that. Make sure that goes up in there. And then, uh, uh, I think it's doing okay. So I might just uh, I might just start putting that bolt in there and tightening that up onto there, and it should go. Should be good. All right, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, guys. So I got I got this back on there. I took these internals out, and I was you know you gotta finagle it back on there. You gotta get back on the uh, pickup tube, and you gotta kind of get that. Uh, uh, that o-ring fit back up inside there um, you put the o-ring on the tube first and then you kind of spin the the pump around so I'm putting all these back in there and put the plate on I got these bolts in and um, so then here's the plate put that back on there put the bolts in Like so, if I can do this one-handed here, kind of hard to do it from underneath here. I guess I could get up above there. Yeah, it is pretty hard to get this from below. Anyway, you get the gist. I'm gonna get it back on there. Get these bolts tightened up. Tighten up these bolts. These four bolts, there's four here. I'll probably kind of spin it down just a hair so it's snug on that uh, pickup tube and tighten everything up. All right, so I got the pump all on there. Everything's tightened up. Little bolt clear down there on the uh, pickup tube. All, f all four bolts here. I got the supervisor here. He's, he's making sure everything checks out. <laughs> so anyway, I'm ready to put the cover on, and I got it all cleaned up over here. <sighs> nice, huh? Looks a hell of a lot better than it did. I got the new seal in. Here's the old seal. To get that out, I just, uh, there's a new gasket. To get that out, I just uh, put this down here on some blocks, kind of like that, kind of like so. And then just tap it out with a punch and it'll 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 pop out of there. Sometimes you gotta really smack it good. So anyway, there's the gaskets. And um I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this back up on there. I didn't um I guess I could put a little bit of silicone bead on the bottom there. I might do that. Because it didn't this this is a new gasket, did it? My gasket kit didn't come with that bottom piece, so it got ripped off, I guess. Anyway, I might put a tiny bit of silicone on there before I put it back on there. So, all right, I'm gonna go do that. So, I got the timing cover on. I, uh, what I did is I, I tightened up the two bottom bolts first, and, um, you know, that'll pull that down, seal that bottom part, 
And I put all these other bolts in uh, before I did, before I snug those up so that they're all in line. Put the new gasket in there. I snug these up. It's just a 10 millimeter. I used a, uh, you know, just a 3 8 drive 10 millimeter socket. I don't know exactly what torque these are. Probably about 15 foot pounds. You don't want to go too tight because you'll crack the housing if you go real, real tight. So you don't want to do that. You just snug enough that it won't leak and it'll stay on there. And now I am ready for the harmonic balancer. I think, right? Yep. Okay. So here it is. It's all cleaned up. Um, what you want to do is pull oil on that. So let's pull the oil on that. And just dribble a little bit. Hopefully, just a little bit. Like so. So it'll go into that gasket. And then after that, you know, spill my oil. that on there like so just slides on there and basically what you're gonna do is just um tighten it on with that bolt the big bolt Get the big bolt here put it in there and you're just going to tighten it on. Um, if it'll catch the threads. <laughs> uh, I'll have to figure this out here. I should go on there a little further. Alright. So at this point, I'm going to prime, prime the pump. Alright, so. If you can see. Let me try if I can try and get that. There is a plug right there on the side of the block. Can you see that kind of, kind of where this uh, deal is there? It is right there on the side of the block. I hope you can see that. And that's the plug. It's an Allen, Allen screw bolt plug, whatever you call it. It is. Uh, what is that? An eight, an H, H eight. So take that out, and I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put a piece of tubing in there. I kind of, uh, you know, beveled the the front edge there. It is a five eighths. I think it's a five eighths outside diameter hose. And I'm going to put that up into that hole. And I'm going to put a funnel. And it's going to go up like that. I'm going to put a funnel up at the top. And I'm going to pour oil down there. And that is how that is how you prime this pump. So I'm going to do that right now. All right. So at this point, I'm putting the harmonic balancer back on. You can see I kind of got it uh, positioned back on that uh, crank. And I got the I got the oil pump primed down there. Um, I was gonna try and take a video, but I lost the video. I don't know what happened to it. Something happened, so sorry about that. Damn it! I think I explained it. Okay, but anyway, I'm putting the harmonic balancer on it, and I forgot the last time we did this. <clears throat> Let me show you here. This this bolt the bolt that actually goes in there is actually too short to get to the threads in the uh, in the crankshaft so I had to go buy another bolt same threads you know of course that was a little longer so I can get so I can because uh, I can't get the uh, can't get the harmonic balancer on far enough I'll show you here I can't get it on far enough and I pushed and tapped and whatever I can't get it on far enough 
two. Uh, here, let's put this bolt up there. <coughs> and that'll get. See, I can't. There's not enough length on that bolt to uh, get to the thread. So I'm going to use this other bolt here. Let's see. Let's see. Take that other deal off. So there, now I can thread that bolt, see? And I can tighten that bolt and it'll it'll push the harmonic balancer back onto the crankshaft. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Alright, so at this point I'm gonna put on the serpentine belt. Well, one serpentine belt. Um when, you're, when I'm down this far, I, I got a couple of belts. Here's a couple. Here's a belt here. That's for the air conditioner. You might as well put on a brand new belt here. This That old one's probably had 300,000 miles on it. And then here's my other one, my big one. I can't I can't put that one back on until I get the, uh, the water pump back on. So anyway, uh, I got the supervisors over there and our guard dog. So I got to. I gotta look busy so I'm gonna get back at it I'm gonna put this belt on actually let's try and let's, let's try and see the, if I can do this one-handed huh good mechanics can always do things one-handed look at that look at that oh my gosh so then I just have to uh, you know that uh, that little tightener pulley whatever you call it takes a 3 8 drive you pull that back this way and you can get the belt on there so I'm gonna do that now two hands all right, I'm gonna put the uh, the water pump on. I got my my belt on there. I got the camera up on the tripod. Yeah, let's see if I can do this without. It just takes three bolts on each side. I got my new gaskets. You always want to use new gaskets, All right? So I'm gonna put that in there like that. Put that one in. See. Where did that one go? That one's gotta go there. All right, nope. Hmm. I got this screwed up. I gotta flip it around. Make sure you got it on there right. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And the third one at the bottom should go on there. So I'm gonna try and do this other side here. Anyway, you get the gist of it. I'm gonna I'm going to turn the camera off because it's going to take me a little bit to get this done. Hey, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it. Um, it's been about a year since I did this uh, oil pump replacement. <clears throat> and so I'm sitting here in the hot. Uh, well, I'm in the shade, but it's 86 degrees, right? You see that? And I'm idling and my, uh, you know, I'm up to temp. And the oil pressure is still up close to 40 PSI. So that's, I'm doing good. Uh, I got 326,000. So I'm doing good. The oil pump replacement uh, worked out well. So anyway, if, uh, if this helped you, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, I appreciate it. Bye.